Hello, all you stitchy people out in Floss Tube Land. This is Debbie, the North Carolina Stitcher, coming to you again on this Thursday evening, August the 8th, with another episode of My Stitchy World. Uh, I have a little bit to share with you tonight. I've got a little bit of haul, not much, a little bit. I have one whip, and I have a, a designer I want to share with you that I really love, and uh, show you my whips of that designer and my patterns that I have of hers. First of all, I'm going to show you my whip. I'm doing White Willow Stitching Tribal Skull. This is for my middle son. And I'm doing this on a Dying for Cross Stitched. It is a 16 count Ada. She doesn't name her fabrics, but uh, anyway. And I'm doing it with uh, DMC 500. The thread looks about like it's black, but it's actually five, uh, 500. So that's how far I got. I just had this top part right here done last night in this little part. And I did all that. So I got quite a bit done. I did about 400 stitches on it last night. And then I've got my clubs. Well, you know, my few clubs that I'm still in. I got my very last Silks for You Throw of the Month Club, Silk of the Month Club for now. I mean, I may not be able to ever get back in it again. <laughs> but this is this month's silks. Aren't they beautiful? But I have so many of her hanks and... Yeah. I think I need to calm down on these clubs. And then I also received a hank I did order of this blue. And it's PR147. And this blue is just gorgeous. It is very, I mean, that's showing pretty close. It's you know, beautiful. Nicely variegated, but not too much. So, I can't wait to find something to stitch that, and then you can better believe it's going to be a sampler. <laughs> and she sent me also along a little needle miner of an owl for free. That is so cute. I got that. Then I got an order from Sassy Jacks, which this is just some... Um, Thread. I ordered the thread pack for the Elizabeth Weston sampler to uh, to do that on my. Uh, I got everything I needed except for a few skeins of the silks, which she sent the last of them today. So it's all ready now for when I want to start stitching. I know that um, Trifle Stitches. I can't remember her darn name. Is going to do a stitch along starting January first. I may end up just waiting and st stitching along with her. Well, this sure doesn't show you any of the threads. <laughs> I'm glad she wrapped them so well because that way, you know, these are silk. You sure don't want them to get messed up. This is one the four skeins that she had on back order. These three are the same. Must take a lot of that one. So, I got that one and I got my color and cotton of the month. They're really pretty. I haven't decided whether I'm going to quit this one or not. I have, I just have not decided on that one. So, I guess I'll we'll, uh, think about that a little bit and see how my finances go. They're not looking that great right now, that's for sure. But anyway, the designer that I really love, and uh, she goes back in the day of when there was no floss tube, back in the early 2000s, when all your Facebook groups were on, at Yahoo e groups, and I was in... Uh, a bunch of different ones. She even had her own group, and it's uh, Martina Weinberg from uh, Stickety Von Der Weinberg. Uh, she did some stitch alongs, which uh, they were mystery sales, and uh, she would upload a page a week. Which the page was, you know, they were. It wasn't a lot, but this uh, this last one, uh, the one I've been working on, is the one I've shown you. This is one of her stitch alongs, and it's called the Verlinden. Mystery Sal, and it was, it was in 2006. And uh, that's the trouble I get. I get going, and then next thing I know, I'm behind, and then, you know, how it goes. This is the one, you know, like I said, I've been working on. I was supposed to have 2006 up there, but I didn't put it in because I know me. But this is the one I've been working on recently. And that's one I hope to really finish this year. But she did uh, three or four, she loved, she did a lot of sales back in the day, back in those days. And um, she still does sales on her group. She has a, uh, 
Stitchers of uh, we uh, Weinberg Stitchers, Stitchers, Sal Stitchers of Weinberg, but she hasn't posted anything in a couple of months, and she's in her 70s. I don't know if she's having health issues or what, but I hope I hope she's okay. But uh, here's another one that I started. This is a Quaker mystery stitch along. This was back in let's see when this one was 2008, I do believe. And I got about maybe close to half of this one done. This one wasn't as big as the other one. But there's that one. This the letters are all eyelet stitches. Everything else is, is all uh, is all cross stitch and it's just in DMC. All hers are charted in DMC. At least they always have been until I don't know about now, but she does dye, dye her own floss sometimes. And uh, this last uh, sale I bought from her, she I bought the floss packs also. I got that one. And uh, I really want to finish that one too, but here's the pattern right here. <laughs> I'm so glad I printed all that up because, because you can't get those anymore. She doesn't, she didn't save the files on her computer. So if you're out of one, then you're just out of luck. And, uh, Here's another one. This is because called the. Uh, this one was called the Tranquility Sampler, and uh, I'm probably about halfway done with this one. But I did this one on 32 count over one. So this is it's not going to be that big because it's a big one. But uh, considering you know I just I'm stitching it over one. It's not quite that easy anymore to to do that. But that's where I'm at on that one. I just love her designs. They're they're so beautiful. Okay, that's all the older ones I've got of hers. And, uh, oh wait, one more. Back when I had the Tsunami, uh, she did a thing with uh, where you could donate $5 to uh, the Red Cross or, you know, your whatever. I think it was the Red Cross and maybe Salvation Army. And you got this free pattern. It was called the Tsunami Sampler. And there's no, I don't have a picture of it, but here is just part of the design. And I started it this year. And <laughs> after all this time, I finally started it, but this is all I've gotten done. Uh, oh, wait, that was back. There's the. This is on 40 count. Or 46 count. This is on 46 count. Oh, darn it. Anyway. There's that one. And here's one that I've got ready to start. It's called, um, I don't even know what the name of this one is, but it's, uh, here's a 2006 sampler also, but I bought this off of a website. And uh, I've got the fabric in here ready to start it, but I haven't started it yet. I hadn't decided on the thread either. So you never know what I'm gonna do there. This is the one that she did this year. Now I don't have a, I don't have a picture of this, but it was a four season sampler, it had spring. There were four different ones, and there was that each one you had to buy separately. Uh, and then here's the part of the spring. I don't want to show you too much. And I got all the thread packs for the for the design that she uh, she died. And I'm dropping everything everywhere. And uh, just a sampler threads, Weinberg. I think they're just cotton. They're not silk, I don't believe. Excuse me. Oh, Lord. I try to get organized, but I don't have very big space to do this for some reason. It just doesn't seem to want to work out. For me to stay organized <laughs> so i got that one and i really want to work on all these i mean every time i look at them i think oh i need to work on that one. Oh, i need to work on that one now the ones i'm going to show you now are the more recent styles that she's done through her web page and uh i should have showed you that one okay this one is called the Mystery Sampler Giza. 
G-E-S-A. I don't know if it's available to purchase the whole sampler now. The, the, the sale's over with, you know. I think it was like 2017 or 2018 when she came out with it. But this is all I got done on it. And it's gonna be pretty pretty good size. I think this is a uh, 32 count. I wanted to show you the back. That's all I got on that one so far. But. That one's gonna be fun to do. But I've got so many things to do, and this one is the Clocks Mystery Sampler. And this one is a clock sampler. I just, I'm just doing this on Monaco, 28 count Monaco with uh, 498. That's about a fourth of it. So, that's what I've got done so far on that one. I actually was looking for this the other day because I wanted to work on it. I hadn't, hadn't got it out. I hadn't worked on it yet, but I'm going to. All right, now that's all the her whips I have. As you see, I have a bunch of her whips, but don't have anything of hers finished, which, you know, I really, that, that's just the story of my life. I have a bunch of whips that I started and I don't have that many finishes. And this one is just a little Quaker that she designed. I don't remember if I had to pay for that, if it was free. She does, a lot, she used to do a lot of freebies on her website. Here's Patchwork Sampler Serenity. This was another, uh, stitch along, but uh, she, I was able to get this one after it was all over and done with. This one goes along with the other one I was doing over one on 32 count, the Tranquility. It's like a companion piece to that one. Here is Dragons, and this is Dragon Quaker. I love that. Here's Patchwork Sampler. As you can see, I really love those kind of samplers. This one here is Quaker 4, just Quaker 4 is all this one's called. This is one that I bought from her website and uh, I got the PDF. This one is Trees of Life. Here's Bell Pole Deborah. I need to do that one here, because it's my name. <laughs> Here's Spring Quaker. Here's Lion, which I'm sure most of you have seen this when uh, McKenna did this one. We put it in the fair last year, year before last. I think the year before last. Here's Quaker Hep Heptagon Chelsea. You know, when I, look at, when I looked at, uh, at them, I didn't think they looked that great, but then I saw pictures of stitched pieces and they were really pretty. Rose Quaker. Here's a Quaker Welcome Band. It's like a bell pull. Well, yeah. This is Welcome. It's a long one. This is one she sent me free. And this is the newest one. It's called Black Raven Quaker. This came out at uh, Market this year. So. So that's, I have a lot of freebies that she's, uh, that, you know, I've downloaded from her website that, are no longer available. She at Christmas time she'll usually do like a bunch of ornaments, and uh, you know, a bunch of these. But then they're only available for a day or two, and then she takes them down. But she didn't do that this past year. And so, but I've got you know a whole bunch of those that I've downloaded through the years. And uh, so that's what I have of her designs. She uh, she's a very funny person. She's really. Uh, Worries, she worries a lot about uh, copyright, which I don't blame her. I mean, she's found a lot of her designs on those Chinese websites and Russian websites and stuff. And uh, so she she about quit designing and quit doing a PDF set altogether because of that. But you know, if even if it's not a PDF, if it's if someone wants to share it, they're going to do it regardless. What, you know, and it's a shame that you know when designers quit designing that a lot of the people that really, really love their designs and pay for their designs and don't share them have to suffer, but that's just all the nature of it. I mean, I can understand when your work gets stolen over and over again, you just, I'm sure you just get tired of it. And uh, so, 
That's what I've got of her designs. That's what I stitched on last night. I might stitch some more on that one. You know, for someone who never really stitches much for other people, this year I've I've got this one for my middle son. I've got another one for my oldest son. I got that one I stitched for my granddaughter. Now my other son, my stepson, her, my granddaughter's father wants me to stitch something for him. And it's like, oh my goodness. And then I'm doing the one for my brother for, for his wedding. So, uh, but I'm just gonna, the rule that I'm making when I stitch something for somebody is I'm not gonna let them pick some kind of intricate design. It's like uh, he wanted me to stitch him something Carolina Panthers. He's a Panther fan. So, uh, but you know, he wants one like with a, with a player and all this stuff in the background. I said, no, I'm not stitching something that's a lifetime job for me. I, if I stitch something, it's gonna be something easy, something like that Pinkie Pie. So, and like this one right here, this white wool stitching, it's all, it's a monochrome piece and it's, I think it's gonna go really fast. So, but I'm not doing anything that's too intricate that I won't enjoy doing because, you know, that's the whole point of stitching is not to enjoy it, even if you're doing it for someone else. So, anyway, that's it for me tonight. I will put a link to Martina's website in the description. Um, I think the way you order from the website, you have to go in there and you have to, they, they have a form you fill out to send them an email, tell them what you want and give them your PayPal address and they will send you an invoice and then they will uh, send you the PDF files. Now, I think you can still order, I think you can order hard copies also, but uh, just whichever way you want to go. She is in Germany, so it's going to be a little bit, you know, postage if you order the hard copies. I usually just order the PDFs. I have ordered hard copies before and, I, and you can get them from 123 Stitch, some of them. Uh, a lot of different websites you can you can buy her patterns. So, but if you want to order directly from the designer, just go. To, I'll put, like I said, I'll put a link in the web in the description of her uh, of her website. So, that's going to be it for me tonight. I'm I'm doing some tea and coffee dyeing. I've never done any kind of dyeing, but I have one sampler that I stitched back. It's my very first time I stitched anything on linen. Very first time I stitched a sampler. It was in 1992. It's called High on the Hill, and it's a I don't know if it's sheepish designs or Something like that. I have to look and see what it is. But anyway, it's been sitting around since 92, and it's got like a little bit of a stain in the middle. Like, I don't know, it's like where the, the linen is turning. I don't know what it is. So I thought, well, I'm going to just dunk it in the coffee tea, see how it goes. And then, uh, so I did that, and it looks like it's coming out pretty good. I got it out, and it's, it's laying, uh, I've wrung it out and rinsed it out. And now I'm going to um, let it dry a little bit, and then I'm going to iron it and see how it comes out. And if it comes out good, I'm going to... I'm gonna frame it, frame it, and put it on my wall, because it's languished long enough in the to finish box. <laughs> so, well, everyone have a great night, and I will see you again maybe tomorrow. So we'll see. Hello, this is North Carolina Stitcher coming at you again on this Tuesday, August the thirteenth. I uh, just wanted to touch base and uh, show you the whips I've been working on, and some uh, haul I've gotten, and some haul I got back. The three months I wasn't making videos, I found a few things that I ordered, like from the market, from market, and I thought I'd show you that. So, uh, but first of all, last uh, video I shot, which I'm not sure if that's been uploaded yet or not, but uh, I was talking about um, a sampler I had done back in '92 that uh, was my first sampler that I ever did on linen, and. Uh, I had, have never framed it, and it's just been sitting in my drawer for years and years and years and years. But anyway, I did notice that a couple years ago that the middle part of the sampler was starting to get like a, a brown looking line, and I tried washing it and it didn't really, th it, it wasn't like dirt, it was almost like the linen was turning a brown. So I decided what I was going to do is I was going to mix together some coffee tea and uh, try to dye it and see what happened and uh, here's how it came out. This is, well let me see if I can find something to put behind that. I should have thought about that before I came up here but I did not think about it. So let me try this. Put another piece of fabric behind it. Because this linen is pretty loose, pretty loosely weave. And I think it came out really good. It's called High on a Hill. I think it's Sheepish Designs. And I really enjoyed stitching that. My initials at the top. At the time, my last name was Parton. And uh, my first husband's 
I was still married to him, which in 92, we'd only been married 11 years, 12 years. But anyway, that one came out really good. And also, I thought, well, since I had the, the tea and the coffee here, there's some uh, fabric I really, really love, and it's called Vertal. It's a, um, it's an even weave, and uh, it's 40 count. Well, I heard about it from Stitching Mommy, and so I went looking for it, and I found it on uh, Traditional Stitches, which is, uh, they were really high. I mean, a little bit more expensive than, you know, I really wanted to paint, and I found it again on um, Needle in the Haystack, which theirs was pretty reasonable. So I, this is white, this was white, I'll fold it so you can see better. And that's how it came out. I left it in there about 10, 15 minutes. Took it out, rinsed it a little bit, and then dried it. Well, I didn't dry it in a dry, but dry and then I ironed it. So I thought that came out really well. I got a, I got several pieces of white that I'm wanting to do some pieces on, but I didn't want to do it in white. So I'm going to, uh, now I know that this will dye pretty well. I might, I might try to do the next piece a little darker. So. But we will see. But I thought that came out really well. And uh, so this week, so far, I've been working on uh, two. I'm getting. I started last night to work on my uh, mystery sampler, the one I'm trying to finish this year, that big one. And so, uh, I'm trying to find the pictures. But of course, I, oh, here's this. One. Yeah. Here okay. Here is. This is Tribal Skull that I was doing for my son. I will put a picture here of where I was last time you saw it. And here it is now. I haven't really gotten a lot done on that, but I think it's going to go pretty fast once I do actually, you know, have more time to, to devote to it. That's for my middle son. I have three sons. And then here is this one. This is just a pattern, so I don't want to show you the whole, you know, get too close. But I got quite a bit of this one done. I got the one wing done. Hold on, second wing. This is just on 18 count. Uh, white, antique white Ada. So, which I like stitching on Ada. I like stitching on even weave. I like stitching on linen. I just like it all. So, but those are the two I've been working on. And then my youngest stepson is a Carolina Panther fan. And one, his daughter is the one that I stitched the little Pinkie Pie for. So he said, you know, you could stitch me a Carolina Panther one, so I found this pattern, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stitch that one for him. I just gotta figure out what fabric to put that on. I don't really want to put it on white. I'm thinking a really light blue. I just have to look through my stash and see what I've got. So, but that's really all I've been working on this week. Uh, I uh, did get some haul in, and uh, so let me show you that first. I got my Victorian motto threads this month. I get the limited edition. So I got those. And I had ordered this fabric for hmm, I had this all organized for a second now. <laughs> uh -huh, here it is. Here's the one, the one I want to start for Halloween this year. Nevermore by Lila Studio. And I have most of the thread. I'm still missing a uh, cast iron skillet uh, from Gentle Arts. I can't find it. I've looked on several several website, online websites and I haven't been able to find it yet. But I decided I want to use it on the Call 4 fabric and so I got 40 count. It's Feldspar by uh, Pictureless Plus. It's really pretty. And this goes on a, it's, it, it'll go on a uh, fat eighth, so it wasn't that expensive. So that's really good. And uh, that's all I've gotten recently. Aren't you proud of me? Oh, wait a minute, I did get this fabric here to do my brother's uh, sampler for his wedding on. I was trying to do it on um, Queen Anne's Lace Jill Blue, but I just, it's just, it was just too light. So this is a vintage country mocha 32 count. So I got that one. I got that ready. Now I can start it anytime. Oh, I forgot. I did get. Um, my fabric from uh, Under the Sea Fabrics this year, I mean this uh, month, it's called Selkie and it's tan brownish, which I like that. I really like it. I love the the neutral ones. Seems like almost all the fabric of the month has some blue in it somewhere, which I don't mind blue, but you know, <laughs> it 
It seems really strange that most of them have blue. Okay, all right, so I want to show you some patterns that I've recently, uh, that I bought back after the, uh, right after the market. I did get this one not too, pretty recently, Jack's Bash. That's another one I like to start around uh, Halloween. And this is another one of the Stickadine von der Weenbergs. I forgot that I'd gotten this one. This this came out at market also. It's called Dutch Flowers. I got that one from market. Or, well, you know, when market was in. Quaker Sewing Tree Tray by Brenda Gervais. That's going to be really pretty. I don't know that I'll put it in the tray. I'll probably just frame it when the time comes. I have this one, Tree of Life Samplings. It's 1831 Brick House. I'm not sure if I got this at Mark, you know, during Market. It came out this year. I don't even know, but I know I've got everything ready to stitch it. So I'd like to get this started pretty soon. It's going to be fun, I do believe. I got this one too, Fractor Friend by Plum Street Samplers. Here's Forever and Ever by Brenda Gervais, A Celebration of Love. I love, I love the Bluebird, the house, I love it all. It's really pretty. This one is Prairie House Sampler, Brenda Gervais. It's got a lot of blues in it, I really like that. And Here's what I got from Fox and Rabbit Designs, which is uh, linen and threads, the ones that do the sampler. Brendan. That's really pretty. It's called Sarah Newman 1822. I got Agnes Otterson 1903. This is Needle Made Designs. I think all the alphabet might be uh, eyelets. This is a Game of Swans by Long Dog Samplers. I couldn't tell if I had it upside down. It's just because it's showing backwards on here. <laughs> the blue flower, I got the, the color of white. That's really pretty. Hopefully that won't be too hard to do. And I got, oh, I think I should have this one. I finally jumped on the bandwagon on the coffee Quaker. But I'm going to change it. First I drink the Diet Dew and then I do the things. Because I don't, I don't drink coffee. I know. What's wrong with me? I start, I love the, the Summer House Stitch Works Fragments of Time series. I got those and then I got three and four. I ordered uh, Jenny Bean's Halloween sampler. This time of year, I'll start when to get all the Halloween stuff. This is one I've had for a good while, but I've decided I'm going to start this one soon. It calls for Icicle, uh, Belle Soie, I think it is, or um, Toasted Marshmallow from Classic Color Works, but I'm going to probably just sub that out for something I've got Victorian motto or something. And I, oh, yeah, I got these four. I did get this one recently. These are the Modern Organics from uh, Summer House Stitch Works. Whispering Winter. Radiant Summer. Gentle Spring. And Resplendent Autumn. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to stitch those while I'm going to put them on, but I may just do it. I'm going to do them separately. I know that. So, so that's basically all my haul, all my whips, and basically what I've been doing. So, I am going to uh, add this on to the other pieces of video I've got. I'm also going to do a little draw for the, uh, the DMC book, card uh, floss book. And uh, I'll get this uploaded uh, 
sometime this week. I may put another piece of, uh, I may put another one on here. It just depends on, you know, how much I do and, uh, you know, if I think I have enough to tell you. So, anyway, everyone have a good night and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Hello. This is Debbie from North Carolina Stitcher. This is Tuesday, August the 19th. Well, maybe August the 20th, 2019. I uh, thought I'd add just one more little snippet, a uh, small video, video. I don't have a whole lot to add, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, show you what I've worked. My progress on my uh, two whips, a little bit of haul, my draw for my little uh, floss card, and uh, that's probably about it. I don't really have much of a life update. Everything's still basically going the way it's been going. Uh, a little stressful, but you know, life is stressful, so I'm never going to be without stress as long as I'm alive. So, I'm just thankful for what I have and for my, the, the opportunity I have to, uh, to make these videos, to uh, cross stitch every day if I want to, and give me a little bit of stash enhancement every now and then. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you uh, my whips. I worked on two, and the first one is my Verlanden, Verlanden, I don't know, if someone knows how exactly how to pronounce that, I'd really like to know. It's that mystery sampler. I'll uh, put a picture in uh, right here where I was at last time. And uh, so I'm, I'm getting really, uh, I made a lot of progress on it this week. This right here is the very bottom. I don't think I showed this to you in my last video. If I did, please forgive me. This is the bottom right side, all the way to the bottom. These, those, that's the whole, that's as far down as it goes. So I'm just going to go back to this side and work my way back over here. And that will be a finish. I really want to get that done this year. Then I did a restart on my uh, the having to hold from uh, for my brother and his partner. And I did this on uh, 32 count vintage country mocha. And I think it's coming out really, really pretty. I'm using the call for threads. Uh, for the most part, this right here. It's supposed to be Eve's Leaves by um, Gentle Arts, I think, or Classic Color Works. It might be Classic Color Works. Could be, you know, Weeks Style Works. I'm not sure which, but anyway, this is a Victorian motto right here. Um, I think everything else so far is the same. Now, there's a couple of big flowers that goes next to the bride and groom. I think they're pink, and I think I might change those to a blue. So, but I have to, I'm going to check in with him and see what he thinks. So, those are the two whips I've worked on this week. I also wanted to show you uh, a picture of my granddaughter that we're in, when I gave her her, her pinky pie. I don't know if any of you have seen that or not, but uh, she uh, is just so adorable. It's on my phone, so hopefully you can see that. She's so cute. <laughs> um... Yeah, she really liked it, so hopefully she'll, uh, you know, it's hanging on her wall in her room, so she's, uh, she seems to be enjoying that. Also got my club from, um, my, thr my fabric from Color and Cotton. I get the, um, Primitives in 40 count. This is a quarter yard. It's called Parchment. This is something that I really, I'm sure I will use that. Also ordered, um, uh, this one right here, there's a stitch along getting ready to start on this one. It's called uh, Harvest Delivered by Plum Street. And uh, I can't remember <laughs> who's, who did it, but I'm sure I'll find her. Anyway, she's uh, gotten with Victoria, Victoria, Nancy from Victorian Motto in there. She's going to do a, a color conversion for that. So I thought I'd get in on that. The last thing I got is my. Needlecraft Corner, Baker's Dozen. This is one I'm going to keep up with till the end of the year. You know, you uh, you pay for 12 pieces of fabric, you get 13, and this is Picture This Plus. I really like it. I, I get 32 count Lugana, and I haven't even opened it yet, so you can see how pretty the package was. So I got the ribbon off. That's a cute ribbon. It's got bees and little beehives. Really cute. I'm sure I'll find something I can use that for. 
know, and as a free gift. She always sends a free gift with it. This month it's a project card from Lo Loban. That's pretty cool. And the fabric this month is sand by Pictures Plus. Another beautiful neutral. I really like it. I can't wait to use it. So that's basically all I've been doing this week. I've been stitching a lot on uh, to having to hold, and I want to try to get as much of that done this week as I can um, before I go to do anything else. I'm going to do that one. I'm going to work on the butterfly bar sampler for my uh, my son's girl girlfriend, and uh, and I'm going to try to work some more on that other sampler so I can get it done. Uh, someone asked me about the plus card that asked if I had uh, DMC 75 on there. I didn't see it on there, so I don't think it's on there. But all right, I had a few people ask for the plus card. I just put their names down here and put them in here. There's like five. So I'm gonna make a draw. Okay, and <laughs> first time I've ever done this. Okay, I chose and chose one, and it is goes to Jackie Stevens. I'm going to comment on your comment, Jackie. Just do remember that this comes from a smoky, smoky household. I don't smoke. My husband smokes. But it, I'm sure it smells like smoke. So if that's something that you don't want, then, you know, if you overlook that part in the video and you don't want that, just let me know and I will, I'll re, I'll re, I will redraw another name. Okay, well, everyone have a great night and a great rest of the week. I'm going to put all these little videos together and see if I can't do a little bit of editing. And... Um, and I will uh, get this uploaded, and uh, congratulations to Jackie, and uh, I will uh, comment on your comment. I want you to send me an email with your name, with your uh, physical address in it, and I will get the, that in the mail to you as soon as I can. All right, y'all have a good night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.